This video is proudly sponsored by Cat's Cosmic Atlas. Cat's Cosmic Atlas is a brand new game on Nintendo Switch that's all about learning about the night sky. Adventure alongside a cat called Feli as you travel around the globe to learn about the stars and planets that decorate our night sky. Learn about the constellations you know and love and take an even deeper dive into their vibrant history. You can fly around the solar system learning about planets and the sun in this interactive adventure. Immerse yourself in a captivating picture book art style with custom illustrations on this cozy but educational journey. You can explore freely and choose what interests you the most, but most importantly, yes, you can actually pet your feline companion. You can take part in this relaxing journey through Cat's Cosmic Atlas today through the link in the description. <laughs> When talking about the next 3D Mario game, there are so many things we need to take into consideration. And one of those things is obviously how impressive is this game going to look? Now, on our channel, we don't talk a ton about visual stuff until we actually get the game revealed. But there's some information floating out there that could lead to us maybe setting some expectations. Maybe the expectations might be set a little too high. But I don't know about you guys, 3D Mario games have always looked absolutely gorgeous to me. Even when you go look back at Mario 64, for its time, it was a very beautiful game. But even when you look, it's just a little bit further ahead. Let's just glance at things like Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2. Both of those, even on the Wii, look utterly fantastic. And then obviously, we all know about Super Mario Odyssey here on Nintendo Switch. I'm sorry, put that thing on any system, it looks good. I'm very, very impressed with the visuals in that game. Uh, and a lot of it just has to do with the cartoony style mixed with some realistic stuff. And the way that Nintendo does it just seems to always work. But there are things going on out in the world that we need to consider when looking towards what this game's going to look like. Now, before I get into this information and discuss and even show an example, because by the way, we have an awesome example to show. I want to remind you guys that we we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers, so I'd appreciate it if you would drop a like, subscribe to the channel, ringling that dingling. Uh, you know, that's hit the hit the little bell and uh, get notified of all of our videos. All right, so first we got to head over to this Zippo blog, and again, I know Zippo may not be the most reliable insider leaker, whatever you want to call him. It's fine. He suggested Nintendo's going to be using Unreal Engine, and a big thing that he said was that you know EPD Tokyo slash One Up Studio would be doing it. And down here he mentions you know a little birdie told him that a new major Mario title is in the works for the next system. They'll be using Unreal Engine four now. Andy Robinson previously told us that 3D Mario is a launch game for Switch 2, so this is presumably what this is for. Now, again, I don't know how much stock we could put into what Zippo put out here, but what I do know is that Nintendo has been using Unreal Engine 4, and internally, Pikmin 4 is a beautiful-looking game for the Switch. You know, got that for the Switch caveat in there. And it's made with Unreal Engine, and that was made by an internal Nintendo studio headed by Shigeru Miyamoto. So I'm just pointing out that Nintendo has been playing around with this idea of using Unreal Engine. Now, an engine is just an engine. It's not an art style. So while a lot of us in our minds have this idea of what an Unreal Engine game looks like, we don't really necessarily have a great frame of reference for the possibilities. And I want to take a look at this thing uh, made by a fellow YouTuber, Funzy, Funzy Seat. I don't know. There'll be a link to it down in the description, Games. And he did this really awesome thing. We're making a Super Mario game in RTX with Unreal Engine 5. And when you, you watch this, obviously, I don't think that what you're seeing on screen right now is exactly the style you're going to see. Obviously, he took more of a, let's make a side-scrolling Mario, but then put it in a 3D perspective. The enemies aren't really even moving. Obviously, Mario looks a little bit floaty. It is what it is, but it just sort of gives you an idea of some of the things that might be allowed with an Unreal Engine. Now, again, I'm not saying that this is what the game's going to look like. I don't want anyone thinking this, but it is just an example anyways as he swooshes that goomba of 
What is possible with a engine like this in a Mario style game? Uh, it, it's pretty entertaining here as he's burning down some stuff. And I just look at this as an example of possibilities. And I, I really like the idea of Nintendo using a, a modern engine. Now, the thing is, I've never had a problem with any of the engines Nintendo has used with Mario. Like, whatever's going on with Super Mario Wonder... I'm good, right? Like, whatever they're using, it looks fantastic. And whatever they did with Odyssey, it looks great. So I, it's not even that I think they need to use Unreal Engine, but it's just sort of setting an example of, like, if fans can do stuff like this, what could Nintendo pull off? And I think that is the exciting part because, look, Pikmin 4 feels like a Pikmin game even though it's using Un Unreal Engine. So I, I, I do think that there is something to be said for the possibilities that exist out there with Unreal Engine. So uh, really just dreaming the dream is, is what I like to do. I mean, we have uh, another example clip here that I have shown off before. Uh, this is more of sort of remaking Mario Odyssey a little bit, some animations and stuff from the game in Unreal Engine. And again, looks really, really good. You see Mario here doing his thing. Uh, some silly stuff. Like, again, and this is all just fan-created projects. Can you imagine what Nintendo could do with this engine? And I think Nintendo's getting more and more comfortable with Unreal Engine again. They just used it for an internally developed game. So regardless of Zippo, I think that this is setting some expectations for what we could see from 3D Mario at launch on, well, <laughs> the Switch 2. So what I want to get are your thoughts. Are your expectations as high as mine? That's the big thing. Are they as high as mine? Because my expectations are heading to the clouds because prior Mario games have always looked great. Now we got... You know, even more power. We're going to have like a portable PlayStation 4 slash PlayStation 4 Pro going on. And Nintendo's going to have the power to do stuff like this. And they could use, an, you know, a more capable engines that are better built for their hardware to do it. So I'm just saying, as we're watching Bowser laugh and fly away, that I really, really want something like this to happen. So what are your expectations for 3D Mario? Do you think it's going to end up looking as great as we saw in those two examples? Do you think it's going to end up using Unreal Engine? Do you think Nintendo's going to go in a different direction? I have no idea, but I want to pose this question to you because I'm so, so excited for the future of Mario at this point that I just couldn't help it. I had, I had to talk about it today. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about the future of Mario and 3D Mario in particular. Do you think it's going to end up looking like this or... Even just more gorge. I, I don't even know. Like I, I was just playing Mario Odyssey yesterday, and I don't remember a game from Mario looking better. And it looks so good. I just... Oh, man. Anyways, guys, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rumpel Jans from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.